Welcome to the Nothing Much Just Chillin' Show With your hosts Emma and Julio Nothing Much Just Chillin' Show Nothing Much Just a Chillin' Welcome back to NMJC. I'm Emma and I am so excited to talk to you guys this week. So I'm in New Jersey right now. I am going to recap my New York Fashion Week experience in this episode. So if you don't care about that, skip this one, I guess. But I have some story. I think I have some stories to to share. I'm kind of just going to run through my past week. But as you guys know already, I said in the last episode that I was going to New York Fashion Week without a plan, without anything like scheduled, without access to anything. Like I was just going to wing it. And I, I mean, I did wing it. That's, that's exactly what I did. But I didn't, didn't know what would ensue, you know, but I had a lot of help. I just had help from everybody in my life including Julio, the support of him, my sister, and Matt, my brother-in-law. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to (laughs) quit. I'm just going to quit saying my sister's fiance every time that I talk about Matt and just say my brother-in-law, Matt, or just Matt. Should I just say Matt? Y'all know. Y'all know by now. He's the one who made the podcast art. He he made the, the NMJC graphic. He's a graphic designer and, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with that graphic. So he did a great job. Anyways, they helped because I stayed at their place and yeah. And a bunch of friends just helped. Well, let's just, let's go through it. First off last week, I talked about how I was like really anxious about something and something was really like bothering me because I just didn't know. And I, this is probably a very common thing like an anxious tick but my ring finger on my right hand twitches when I'm anxious and it literally was twitching for like a week straight while I was like waiting for news about something and it was freaking me out but like I couldn't stop it and then as soon as I knew like it immediately stopped so anyways uh, long story short I got good news (sighs) yeah let's all take a deep breath because I needed to take a breath waiting this week for this news but you know I didn't know if it was going to be good or bad and I you know said last episode you know if it's bad news whatever that's life and life is unfair sometimes (laughs) but it's not it's very fair it's very fair and this time you know and I got good news and I'm really happy about this good news that I can't share because I have signed an NDA this new job that I have, this new gig is something that I have potentially been manifesting for like a long fucking time, like six years. And I'm so happy and I hope it leads to more stuff. And I don't know, it's weird because I can't like talk about it bluntly and directly because I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose this job. So, so anyways, because I got this good news on Wednesday night, actually, last Wednesday night, the day before I left for New York, I was just on a high. Like, nothing could get me down. Like, when I got to, I, you know, I was just like, wasn't even nervous about New York Fashion Week anymore, being like, oh, like, I should have done this, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know. I wasn't worried about anything because I was just so happy that I got this opportunity and like nothing could bring my mood down like not even if I couldn't take any pictures at New York Fashion Week like it didn't it didn't matter to me because I was just so happy about this new gig that I got I don't know I'm very proud of myself and I'm very thankful for the people in my life who always vouch for me like I like I've said on this podcast like people that that send me story posts to people that need photographers videographers um uh if they're you know if they work somewhere or or somebody needs someone like me like it just it makes my whole life like I'm so grateful (laughs) for so many people in my life for helping me out like 
I am never like I'm I you know some people you know if they feel like they need to say like oh I'm self-made oh I did it all myself like for sure like go for it you know like you're the only one that knows your truth right but I I know that I've had so much help in my life including just like from the universe like I I could not do anything on my own (laughs) like I'm very codependent and (laughs) especially on Julio but like I I need people I think we all do and I think we all need to allow other people to help us because that's what we're all here for right we're all here to collectively share this human experience together and we gotta help each other we gotta help each other I love helping people I love helping people when I can help them and I wish I could help people more in more ways but and hopefully I can in the future but for right now I'm very very grateful for the people who help me big thank you to Julio and my sister Olivia, my brother-in-law Matt, and my mom and dad. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I had no expectations. So Thursday we got there, Julio and I, we got to Matt and Liv's, and then we went to the city. We, We went first stop. First stop anytime I go to New York. It's either bagel. Oh, well, we'll get more into that later, but it's either bagel or Beyond Sushi. Beyond Sushi is this all vegan sushi. They have other stuff too, like salads, dumplings, um, wraps. And yeah, it's just like this, I don't know. I guess it's Japanese vegan stuff, but it's not like off authentic it's really just like I don't know like healthy I don't know it's just really fucking good beyond sushi they have I think four or five locations in Manhattan in Manhattan and um it's my favorite place I love it so much so we met Olivia my sister there for lunch and then and then yeah I kind of just like hung out with Julio for the rest of the day we he had to do some work so we went to Olivia's office to do some work and then we went to Soho to a music store that Julio really wanted to go to it was really cool store and there was some characters working there like honestly it was it was a it was quite the scene and then we went to meet his friend Mike in uh in Brooklyn in Greenpoint at a bar um side note everybody has a friend Mike like I I feel like that's a very common phrase like oh my friend Mike oh my friend I'm going to my buddy Mike's oh I'm going to my, to Mike's oh are you going to Mike's like Mike is such a common or Michael too but like Mike is such a common name I, I don't know why that that's sorry that was so random but if you're a Mike listening to this like let's be friends because I want a friend Mike I used to have a friend Mike but we're we yeah we haven't talked in a long time and then Julio he was drinking beer or something and I was like, oh, what do you want for dinner? And he goes, I want pizza. And then Olivia sent me because we're we were gonna go to dinner with Olivia and Octi. Octi is uh, Octavio is um, Julio's the middle brother. So Julio has two older brothers, Augusto and Octavio. And Octi he he works in in New York City as well. So yeah, we we were gonna meet both of our older siblings for dinner. And yeah, and then Olivia sent me double zero, which is actually a vegan Italian pizza place um, that's in in New York and L.A. So we've only been to the one in L.A. And honestly, it wasn't very good. And I wasn't very I just wasn't impressed. But I was like, you know what? Let's try it. And guys, there's really there's really something in the water here on the east coast but like specifically in new york there's something in the water that just like makes pizza and bagels better and i'm sure y'all already know this but like it's just crazy like why can't they make pizza like i've heard of i've heard of pizza places in la sourcing their water like importing their water from new york isn't that crazy but like i guess it makes sense like why like why else would it be that it tastes better over here than there I'm not sure but 
you know, it's like when I'm in LA, I'm like, oh, I really want a bagel. But now when I'm here on the East Coast, I'm like, oh, I want a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I had one this morning, actually, that was pretty good at a vegan cafe here. So I don't know, but it's no groundwork. It is no groundwork vegan breakfast burrito. Let me tell you that. So yeah, we get to double zero and Octi and Olivia aren't there and Julio has to go to the bathroom. So I sit down by myself at a table and next to our table is a couple and their dog. Their dog is so cute and so fluffy. And he was just, he was just calling my name. I'm pretty sure, you know, he was just like calling my name. He was like, Emma, come pet me. And I was like, yes, Cooper, Cooper was his name. And yeah, so I was just petting Cooper and like kind of like small chatting with the with the owners with the couple and like guys like if if I feel that someone is like okay go away now like I I stop talking like I turn around I mind my own business but like the dog loved me kept on letting me pet him and then the owners were like still talking to me and like we were having a good conversation or we were talking about like owning a dog or whatever, and them, like, owning a dog and living in the city, and they're, like, yeah, we, like, try to take him out to parks, like, a couple times a day, and I was, like, oh, is there a park near where you guys live, and they're, like, yeah, and they said the name of the park, and I was, like, oh, yeah, I'm not sure, I've never heard of that, but that's cool, and they're, like, oh, where do you live, I was, like, in LA, and they're, like, oh, why are you, are you just visiting, and I'm, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm a photographer, I'm here to try to see if I can, like, get some shots for New York Fashion Week, and then I saw, like, the the woman of the couple, her eyes, like, light up. And then I was like, oh, are you photographers? And she was like, no, but he's in real estate. And he was like, yeah, so I'm in real estate and I own a bunch of photography studios in Brooklyn. And I was like, oh, shit. And he was like, yeah, I would love for you to come by and, like, sent me the the Instagram and yeah and they said they like they would give me a code to like shoot there for free and stuff which was really fucking nice but I ended up not using it at all this trip I just was yeah I was just busy doing other things but definitely when I come back and he also said that he's expanding his studios to LA as well so really really nice to have met that couple they were super nice and yeah it was it was a good time <laughs> they were they were they were so sweet I loved talking to them um no matter what if they had something to offer me or not um and then yeah and then we had a really nice dinner the pizza oh it's amazing it's so much better than the double zero in LA I don't know why it's the water some some things in the water over here I'm so bad at like not 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 saying details like I'm so bad at being like concise but I'm trying to be better at it because you guys really don't care if the cheesecake there, like, didn't taste like a cheesecake, you know what I mean, like, I don't need to, I don't need to share, like, every detail of the meal, unless, unless you want me to, unless you want me to go through and be like, I gave this pizza a 9 out of 10, I gave the dessert a 5 out of 10, you know, like, like, rating things, but I don't know, maybe I'll just have, that's, that's, like, that's a totally different form of content, you know what I mean, that's, like, a TikTok, it's, like, best places to eat vegan in New York like that's what it is like that's not that's not here that's not for us I'll shut up now okay and then after dinner as Julio Olivia and I were walking back to the subway station we ran into one of Olivia's friends who she used to work with who's a pattern maker okay I can't go into too much detail about this but basically her friend who works for a brand told me about where their show would be and so I was like oh perfect on that day I'll go try to get some pictures outside of the like celebrities and influencers going in like a like paparazzi you know what I mean and then the next day I went went into the city around noon or so and I knew of a venue that was putting on like, a bunch of smaller designers, but still, like, a whole, like, four-day, like, fashion week show event, and I had emailed them for access to take pictures backstage, but they didn't get back to me, which, like, fair, because I had just emailed them, like, the day before. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. So, like, whatever. I, it was fine that they didn't email me back, but I still wanted to go and check it out, and so I met my friend there, PJ, he's another photographer, and I met him at LA Fashion Week, and so we met there, and then 
we just kind of chilled. We hung out together in a park, smoked a little J, and it was so chill and nice. And oh my God, we were just like watching people play basketball, all these like grown men. They were playing basketball for so long or maybe maybe time just like felt long for me when I was high because I was just looking at them like, oh my God, they're going hard. Like it's been like an hour of them playing basketball. Like, are they just, is their ego too big? Like nobody can say they're tired. Like they, they look like they're like dying, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not dying, but like, like they gotta be getting tired by now. Like there's no way, there's no way they're not tired. Also, sorry, if you're watching this, like the light is changing like so drastically, but whatever, we'll make it work. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so they were like playing basketball and we were just chilling and we got like really into like talking about photography and stuff which is so funny because I went on that rant last week about like how men only men photographers just want to talk about gear and stuff but you know if if it's like my friend like sometimes it's nice talking about things like that and he was really funny he was like and I've never I've never this is so weird I've never talked to a girl about this (laughs) I'm like good point okay so yeah we're high is that where I left off I don't know we got like really creative and like started taking pictures of each other um which was fun and then and then I was just like you know what let's go let's go to the venue let's see let's see what can happen you know so we walk up to the venue and we talk to the security we're like oh we're photographers he's like oh, okay you have to go to the press table to check in we're like okay okay sweet so we go to the press table and the person running it is like in a conversation with somebody else who's working the event and they're kind of like arguing like, the person working the press table was definitely annoyed about something that the other person did. Like, it was, like, there there was some sort of conflict. And because of that, he was just so distracted. And PJ was like, oh, um, I'm a photographer, blah, blah, blah. And then he, then the guy was like, okay. Like, didn't even check his ID, like, wanted to see his email or anything. He just, like, put the media, like, wristband on on his arm. And then, and then he was, he was like, like gesturing to me to, for me to put out my, put out my, my wrist. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I put out my wrist and then he put the wristband around me. And then he's like, all right. And I, and I was still high at this point. And I was like, did, I was shocked, shocked. I was so shocked. I'm like, What? We just, we just have to walk up here and be like, we're photographers. Mm. Wristband me. Media pass me. Like, you know. Like, what? I was so, I was so shocked that that was, like, that easy. And then we really, we both had to go to the bathroom. So we went to the bathroom. And then when we got out, or when we went into the place where the bathroom was, there was somebody working there. And she was like, oh, you guys are photographers. And she, like, gave us the whole rundown of, like, where we could go and what was going on like she was being so nice I was like okay this is like actually happening and then I peed and then I got and then I came out of the bathroom and I was like shit I gotta get my camera out my four my four cameras I I was prepared guys like I was prepared I had film I yeah I what the fuck like (laughs) I was like okay it's time it's time to go now it's time to to shoot I guess now that I'm in, what the fuck? I still thinking back on it. It was like a crazy moment. Like, of course, it it was a small show with a small designer, but like, you know, I, this is my first time, so I was just happy to get in backstage to any show to to shoot any models. So I immediately started having like the time of my life. Like it was insane. I was taking pictures, taking videos, trying not to, like, seem too sus because I didn't have, like, the official, like, media pass, but I did have the wristband. So, I don't know, just taking pictures of models, taking pictures of makeup artists, talking to makeup artists, models, taking pictures of the designers, just taking all this, like, BTS content and really doing my thing. And the models, like, loved my, like, little Digicam camera because they were like, oh, it looks so vintage and 2000s and aesthetic. It's like, I know. It's my favorite little thing. And then a little trick about flash that my friend Maya actually taught me was that you can put a paper towel if you don't have a diffuser for your flash 
um, because I have like a separate like big flash that like goes on top of my cameras. If you don't have to have a diffuser, you can put like paper towel over it and then like fasten it with like a ponytail or a rubber band. So I did that. So I just had like paper towel on my (laughs) on my flash. And so many photographers were like, okay. And this one guy, he walked past me and he was like, (laughs) He was like, nice diffuser. And I was like, thanks. And then, oh my God, I saw him the next night and I had it on again. And then he started laughing when he saw me. And and I was like, I know, I know. And he, <laughs> he was like, no, 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 no. You're the only one thinking around here. <laughs> so that, that meant a lot to me. So thank you, Maya, for fucking telling me that trick because it really helped. It really helped. I was kind of embarrassed to use it though use the paper towel at, when I went like outside of, of like the big shows I like the big name designers I was like oh god <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this I snuck in backstage at New York Fashion Week guys like I can say that isn't that crazy anyways my mom came the next day and we went to the city did some shopping I got a dress for the wedding that I'm going to in a couple weeks and I'm also going to wear it for Olivia's rehearsal dinner I'm pretty sure um it's a Ted Baker dress I don't know if you guys know who Ted Baker is but it's fancy 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 designer and yeah so hopefully it looks good on me I don't know we'll see (laughs) We'll see. I just took my mom and my sister's word. Yeah, we did shopping and in Soho. And then I went back to the venue um, to shoot for a little bit. And yeah, I, I took a bunch of photos on my Digicam. I have some digital photos as well. But, you know, I'd love to see my film photos. I, I would love to see my film photos, actually. But <sighs> film labs were just so... <laughs> so busy this week in New York so they were like yeah like I dropped it off on what Monday and they were like yeah you'll have it by Friday and I was like trying not to cry I was like okay yeah you guys are busy this week yeah no problem no problem that's fine I'll wait till Friday that's fine but I'm like dying inside like it's Thursday right now and I'm recording this and I'm like can I make it till tomorrow like I might pass out like thinking about it I'm like just so nervous because like I have no idea how 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 did shooting New York Fashion Week go, Emma? I have no idea. I have no idea because I haven't seen the pictures because it was all a blur. It was all a blur when I was taking the film photos. Like, I have no idea what I got. Hopefully, I have some le- some good pictures of celebrities on there. Hopefully. I don't know, though. But hopefully. <laughs> but I'm very excited. Very, very, very excited to see them. And, you know, if they suck, you'll never see them. But hopefully they won't. Let's, let's all cross our fingers and pray to God whatever God you believe in, that my film pictures turned out iconic because that's all I want in life is for these pictures to be good. But whatever, it was fun. It was an experience. And then, and then, yeah, Sunday, I kind of took a break, just hung out with my mom and my sister. And then Monday, I went, I, I went outside of two big shows to, to take like, you know, paparazzi style, like, uh, stuff, of like the celebrities and and influencers going to the show and yeah that was fun like what's the paparazzi stuff like I it's not my favorite like I much rather be backstage right I'd much rather be like invited by the designer to shoot like inside and shoot the models and you know like be backstage and get that BTS content um, but it, it was a cool experience. I, I liked it. Like, it's very competitive. Like, it's all these photographers right outside the show, like, on the street, blocking the street. Like, it's it's a lot, and it's really chaotic. And, you know, you get you get pushed around. You get people yelling at people. And it, it, can, be, it can be quite aggressive. And, yeah, but, oh, my God, one of the show, <laughs> one of the shows, I was, I was outside, and and I was like looking at how many film pictures that I had left. And then all of a sudden I feel like and see out of the corner of my eye, like all these photographers like run towards the street, like really fast. 
And by the time I looked up, I saw a black van and it had like a bunch of men in it that were like, looked like they were like part of like a production crew. And the van was open and all the photographers were taking a picture of whoever had just stepped out of the van. And this person was not even attending the event. They were just driving around New York and I think saw all the paparazzi and, and was just like, oh, let's let's fuck with them. Like, let's give them something. Like, let's let's jump out and get some paparazzi paparazzi pictures for fun. Like the people in the van were like laughing and stuff. Ugh, guys, this was the saddest moment of my entire life. I swear to God, this was the saddest moment of my entire life. I've lived a pretty good life, if I can say. I'm just kidding. I'm just exaggerating, really. But like, oh my God, the disappointment that I felt in this moment is just Okay, I'll, I'll tell you guys who it is, but <sighs> I need to take a moment because I'm just like remembering how sad I was that I missed it because this, as soon as I put my camera up to take a picture, well, first off, there was all these photographers in the way, like surrounding, like there's, there's no way I could like even get a shot. But as soon as I even put my camera up, the person already jumped back in the van and drove away, never to be seen again. By me, you know? I mean, maybe someday, but guys. I wonder if any of you can guess. Oh, well, I put it on my close friends, I guess. I was like, oh, I just missed blank. Like, I hate myself or whatever. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. Emma, grow up. Anyways, it was Davide. It was Davide or Davide, whatever the fuck you way you want to pronounce it it was the winner of love island uk you guys and y'all know love island uk is like my religion like it's literally it's 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 i can't i'm joking up <laughs> i just start crying because i just get so emotional about love island no <laughs> no it i mm, i'm so mad that i missed him i missed taking a picture of him guys like that <sighs> That was so sad. But after the show, I met up with my friend Nadira. Nadira is one of my fucking homies, man. She listens to, the pod to this podcast too. So hi, Nadira. But I love you so much. And I'm so fucking happy that I could that we could hang out in New York. Like that was so cool because we haven't hung out in, I haven't hung out with Nadira in a long time in LA. And I hope we see each other in many cities in our lifetime but she's a photographer as well so she was there for New York Fashion Week and yeah we met up we swapped stories about New York Fashion Week we sat on a rock uh, smoked a J that is a theme here guys being in a park smoking with a friend it's it's like a, it's one of my favorite hobbies I think <laughs> smoking a J in, the, in a park with friends that that is definitely one of my hobbies. Yeah, but we were vibing and then we were like getting creative, taking pictures of each other. And yeah, it was just, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. It, we went to Central Park, which is always a vibe. I love Central Park. Central Park is so amazing. Oh, I mean, it's so big. I don't th even think I like, I have explored like every part of it, but that's what she said. Um, sorry, I'm just smiling at Julio out there with the dog. Okay, also at that, wait, at that show, I met James Charles. Or, like, I mean, I didn't say, like, hi, I'm Emma, but, like, I took pictures of James Charles outside the show. And, I mean, I know he's controversial or whatever, but, like, kind of when you're there with a the camera, you're just like, fuck it, I'll take a picture. <laughs> but I finished, like, my film role with him. Like, I, I took, like, I was taking pictures of him when my film role stopped um, and, like, rewound or whatever. And, and then I like put my camera down and I was like, oh, you finished my film role. And he was like, oh, love that. <laughs> he was actually so nice. And he was like taking selfies with all of his like little girl fans that were there. Like it was, yeah, he was, he was nice. I really hope I got a good picture of Christine Quinn, but don't know. Don't know because I took it on film. So I have no idea, but I, you guys know how much I love a selling sunset too. Actually, do you, have we talked about it on the, on the pot? Definitely with Julio, but yeah, I think so. But yeah, Christine Quinn, who, you know, is such a bully and like such a villain in that show, but she's kind of iconic, her style. 
kind of iconic. Tuesday, I had a little photo shoot with my friend Adrian, who's a model who was walking in some shows for New York Fashion Week. I'm so proud of him. But we did a little cute shoot. And yeah, it's yeah, he's amazing. Would love to see those pictures too, guys. Like, because uh, I took them all on film or I took a film roll. And then after we were in a park smoking, <laughs> but he didn't have a lighter. Okay. So we were just kind of like walking around the park, like trying to scope out like who might have a lighter. And we saw this couple, I don't know if they're a couple, but like this guy and girl uh, smoking, they had just lit whatever. I don't know if it was a J or a cigarette, but whatever. I was like, oh, they probably have a lighter. They definitely do because they just lit that. And then Adrian went over and asked them and the girl was so nice. I was like, yeah, sure. Like gave us the lighter. And then we just started talking to them. The uh, guy, his name's Davis and the girl, I think her name's Rhea, but they were so fucking nice and were so sweet. And Davis like owns his own like has his own like production company like he works with the NFL like I don't know and he was just asking us about New York Fashion Week and like he really wants to see the film pictures we just took like of Adrian and and it was like I'm always looking for like woman videographers photographers whatever like we just I don't know we were networking you know <laughs> you know how much I hate that word but like literally like networking but like chill you know like nothing much just chill networking you know was that cringe I'm so sorry I'm so sorry it was just so what's the word sync synchronicity sync synchro a lot of synchronicity fuck what what is that what it is guys what when you like when things are just like working out and like happening for you like and and there's just like coincidences like is it serendipity synchro syn syn <laughs> I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop you guys you guys tell me tell me or Julio when you listen to this please what what am I saying like what am I trying to say you know what I mean but you guys know what I'm trying to say though because you speak Emma so I know you know but yeah it was such a good little chill sesh and then and then I went back to Midtown to do a shoot with um, one of my sister's models that she works with at her brand, who is uh, stunning, stunning. She is so fucking beautiful and such a good model and like really established too. So I'm really glad she even agreed to do it with me. And yeah, it's a cute little shoot. Again, would love to see the picture. <laughs> That's the theme. Guys, if you want to see my New York Fashion Week pictures, yes, so do I. So do I. And then I wanted to try out a new film store, kind of hoping that they would be quicker than the other one. Uh, but, oh, no. But this film store was beautiful. Like, it had, like, a beautiful lobby with, like, f photography books. And it was, it, it just wasn't, like, all the film stores that I've been to, the film developing places that I've been to have just been, like, a counter and it's been chaos. And, like, I don't know. The vibe is very much, like, get in, get out. But this one, I was like, oh, I, I want to stay here. Like, I want to chill here. I want to sip my water here. I want to charge my phone. I want to wash my hands. And I did all that. Like, I just, I just kind of chilled there. The person working in the lobby or, or the cashier, like, she was so chill and nice. So I just sat there reading photography books, charging my phone, just being like, mm, what should I do next? What should I do? Like, I really had nothing to do. Like, I was maybe going to go back to my sister's office and try to edit a bit. But I was just... I was just chilling. I was like, I got nowhere to be and no one needs me right now. So I'm just going to vibe right here. And then all of a sudden, these boys, <laughs> should I call them boys? I don't know. Men. I don't know. These people came in and I just started like chatting it up with them because obviously like if you're there, you're a photographer as well. Um, so one of them was a photographer. One of them was just his friend who was a model and a dancer. But I started talking to them and the guy, the photographer that I was talking to is so good. Like has like I, you know, we follow each other on Instagram now. His work's amazing. And he told me about a show that was happening and like where the location was like that day. 
And I was like, oh, my God, sick. I'll go outside and try to do the same, like, you know, paparazzi because it was a big show. And, yeah, so I was very, very thankful that he told me that. And then as I was leaving, I forgot the what the location <laughs> was, what pier it was because it was, it was a pier um, on the west side. Yeah, so I messaged him and I was like, hey, like, sorry, I forgot what pier number you said. And then he told me and then he was like, oh, we're at Chelsea Market, which was right by the film place. Um, if you want to hang with us before we go over there, um, like him and his friends were getting a drink and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, bet. So I went <laughs> and I just like, got like me and like these four guys, but like creative people. So they were super nice and, and chill. And yeah, I had a kombucha. I'm like constantly telling people that I'm allergic to alcohol because it's such a big thing in, in our culture you know what I mean like oh let's get a drink oh let's go out to eat oh you're not gonna get alcohol or oh let me get you some something from the bar and it's just you know this this like social norm which is totally fine oh but then when I told them that I was allergic to alcohol they're like but you smoke I'm like yeah yeah because yeah because when I didn't when I did nothing I was like oh yeah I'm like I like shouldn't tell people that like I I'm always sober you know what I mean like I, <laughs> I shouldn't tell people that like I'm just not cool no I'm just kidding no being sober is so cool being sober is very cool I'm just making a joke about like how it's just a joke being sober is very cool I, I, not, I have nothing against being sober I am sober a lot of the time and I take like very long breaks sometimes from from smoking weed but yeah being sober is awesome and fun and you can still have a great time being sober and okay, so anyways, so we go so we go to the show. My friend that I just met, he actually has an in to get into the show backstage. Good for him. And you know, we just met. So I I appreciate for him even telling me where the show was and what it what you know, all that. Like it was very nice of him for to give me that information. I was just like standing outside and then <laughs> as he went in, the security guard uh came over to me and was like you should text him to like get you on the list or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe. I wasn't going to be like, oh, we just met or like he's actually getting in on a favor from his, his friend. Like, I don't know. It was just, yeah, it's fine. Really, it's fine because I honestly got the pictures that I wanted to get there of the two people that I really, really like, Devin and Sydney Carlson. And I love them so much. So I'm so glad I got at least some good pictures of them. I was really, I really didn't want to like bombard them and be like, hey, can we do a whole food photo shoot right now? Like I would really love that. But, um, but no, got what I could. And then I went to my sister's office so that I could change into the dress and the boots that I was wearing to this after party of this designer that her friend works for so we went to the after party it was really cool did some networking again <laughs> but like kind of and yeah I met this really cool guy who might be able to hire me for stuff in the future like either flying me out to New York or in LA so I'm really excited about that and I'm really, really thankful that I met him. And I met him because so the party, the after party was at this like penthouse and it was oh my god, it was just stunning. It was beautiful. But where the bathrooms were upstairs, like everybody went up into like this room and I could see them from the outside of the the like the terrace that the main part of the party was on I could see people up there like taking pictures of themselves, like with the view and stuff. And I have my little digi cam and and I, like the whole night I was just like kind of keeping my eye open for people who like looked like they wanted their pictures taken you know who were asking their friends to take pictures or were taking pictures themselves or like I could see had like the camera app open on their phone like like okay that person is okay like that like I can ask them if they want me to take a picture because you know some people don't some people don't like pictures I think that's fine and I don't want to like bombard people that I don't know all the time be like can I take a picture can I take a picture like that's fucking annoying but you know some people really appreciate it and I send the pictures to the people you know I get their email so it all works out they get free photos <laughs> but yeah so I met this guy when I was up there taking a picture of the view and yeah he was super sweet and yeah we we were, we were vibing he was like I was like oh I'm from LA and then he was like I could tell he's like you you give that's what you're giving <laughs> 
<laughs> you're, you're giving LA. <laughs> it's like not in a bad way, but he was just like, he's like your aura or something. So yeah, which is funny because a lot of people always think that like people that don't know me, like from, you know, growing up, people always think that I'm from LA and grew up in LA, but nope. I'm a transplant, but LA suits me, I think. And I, oh, I'm so homesick, but we'll be back soon. And this, this time spent with family and friends on the East Coast has been just tremendous so far. And I, I'm really thankful for everything that I got to do for New York Fashion Week this year. And I think that this experience has just, it's really opened my eyes to a lot of things, but it also, it just it's just helping me just know more about what I can do in the future to to get backstage at the big shows and um and yeah just do more in general next time I come to New York Fashion Week and yeah now I have more more contacts and people that know me and follow me and I you know I'm I'm just very grateful for for this time and for New York bagels and New York pizza and New York vegan food in general and for spending time with my sister even though she probably wanted to kill me <laughs> until <laughs> until the last day she was like you're leaving and I'm like it's <laughs> like yeah, I thought you wanted to be alone <laughs> she just she has a very stressful job and I totally get it but yeah she's great and I'm very thankful for her helping me out this week and in, in all the ways that she could so this week's question by the way, thank y'all for sending me your favorite colors. But yeah, my favorite color is indigo. That's the color of my car. And yeah, I, I don't know what it says about me. I hope it says that like I'm very like deep and thoughtful. And you know, I can be blue sometimes, but I feel like there's a lot of beauty in in being emotional and being sad and and feeling deep feelings, you know? So like as as deep as the deep as the ocean question for this week is if if money was no worry where would you live what city how about just like just tell me a city don't don't tell me like a country or a state or I mean if you if you specifically want to tell me like the town you know or the street you want to live on that is even better but just give me give me a city I think that tells a lot of per about a person like what what city that they're drawn to you know so yeah let me know and yeah thank you guys for listening to this week's episode i'll be back next week in maryland to record in my room again and yeah it'll be it'll be a fun one hopefully julio will be on it he's been asking me he's been like oh should i be on one of these where we're when we're on the east coast i'm like yeah sure i'm sure the fans would love that so <laughs> Hopefully he's on next week and we can talk about some some chill shit. So, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I love you so much. Bye. Nothing much, just a chillin'.